Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Anything is possible But you don't know it's beautiful What's up co-host and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Deja Nicole, if you didn't know. So today is my YouTube anniversary. It's been one year since I've been on YouTube, which is just like crazy. I feel like it's been a year already this year, kind of like flew by. Even though I know I had some time where I wasn't really posting and stuff like that, this is still a very special, um, you know, year or moment or celebration or whatever you want to call it for me. So since I've been on YouTube for a year, I wanted to do something a little bit different, I guess. I've never done this exact video on my channel just because I'm still growing and getting the following and stuff like that. But being that it's been a year, I figured that you guys probably have some questions about myself or about YouTube in general and just things probably that you just want to know and pick my brain or whatever about. So this is your time to do it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted um, like a little question chat box or whatever just telling you guys that this is what i was gonna be doing for this type of video and submit your questions so you guys definitely came through i got a good amount of responses that i just wasn't prepared for honestly and these are some really nice questions so we're gonna go ahead and dig into this but before we get into the video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i upload next now let's get into the video you know we got some fake baby champagne here i want us to do like a whole like little celebration i guess in a way um but my plan really didn't work out as i really wanted to i went and got some sparkling grape juice from target and i was trying to find like a um champagne glass but all their glasses were like out of stock these were like the only things that they have left and i don't have any like glass like glass glasses like this in my house um so this is just what it's gonna have to be but you know hey it's whatever so let's go ahead and pop this thing open okay this is just aluminum for you so i could just like turn this right have a few drinks go ahead sit down get cozy i don't know how to open this <laughs> i thought i could just unscrew this because you know the wine bottles they don't got the corks no more it's just you could just unscrew it and this i cannot okay guys i got it <laughs> this is how you know i'm not a drinker got the wrong glass of everything but here let's pour it up cheers to one year ting y'all got y'all drink y'all sipping okay now let's get into this q a so the first question is what made you start youtube in the first place um so honestly i've been wanting to start youtube for a while now and i actually started a few years ago when i was in college i made my first video and everything i posted it and i never told anybody about it and that was pretty much it but youtube is, has always been something well, i shouldn't say always but it's been something that i wanted to do for at least like five years uh, what inspired me was honestly sophiology she was like one of the first youtubers that i actually like started watching and kind of just like fell in love with and kind of got the understanding like you know people really out here having careers and whatnot with youtube so she was the first person to actually like inspire me to want to do it and i just love the thought and idea of it you know having like a little internet community being in front of a camera you know sharing your life and doing things that's like entertaining and fun to you as well as like you know inspiring and helping you know other people and when I first found out about YouTube, when I first started watching it, it was definitely a lot different than the, what it is now. Like, YouTube is, I, f I feel like, a lot bigger. Not even just YouTube. Like, the whole, like, content creating, influencer, stuff like that. And outside of the fact that YouTube is, like, you know, people careers, outside of the money, for me, I knew it was something that would, like, challenge me and, like, really push me out of my comfort zone. As far as, like, being in front of the camera all the time. You know, sharing my flaws and stuff like that. And, you know, even though I don't talk directly to a person and I'm not around, like, I don't, this is not a friend group. It's really my camera, even though, you know, I'm making connections through my camera. I feel like this is different. This is something to, you know, to show the real me and explore, like, different parts of me and just, like, you know, grow and, again, establish that community and inspire and help others, even though if it's not doing it, like, face-to-face, -face, this is a, a nice way to do it, too. If that makes sense, I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot throughout this video. I hope I'm making sense. And just like a little backstory, I've been through some things personally in my life. And after coming out of certain things, I've always had this like, um, I don't wanna say 
it, I, not necessarily a passion but pretty much i'll say it like this one of my favorite bible, bible verses is romans um 8 28 just pretty much saying you know all things are going to work together you know the good and the bad no matter what it's going to pretty much work together like for your good and after dealing with certain things that i went that i went through i knew that i um kind of wanted to have like Hmm, what am I trying to say? I'm tr what am I trying to, as far as like put it into words, like I know what I want to say, we're trying to put it into words. This is in some ways like a ministry, what so have you. But I just knew that me, you know, dealing with certain things, you know, being bullied, having like insecurities, going through certain things that I went through, whatnot, that, you know, I wanted to like kind of be that inspiration and pretty much do or have what Romans 28, 828 says, you know, having everything work together for my good. So even though I was in that, now I'm out of it and now I'm just like want to be, you know, a help or like a encouragement and whatnot for others even though this is a whole completely different way because i'm on youtube and i'm doing like stuff but if if you really are invested with youtube and like you follow people and like you kind of get what i'm saying as far as like how emotionally invested or whatever or how connected you can feel with like a youtuber and how that youtuber can inspire and, and you know motivate you to do certain things that that's kind of what i wanted in a way like i wanted to be that motivation i wanted to be that inspiration i wanted to be that light that you know that like kind of uplift uplifts other women that's what i wanted to be so i hope that makes sense but yeah that's all i gotta say for right now so the question second question says how much are you looking forward to going to red carpet events one day with your big cousin listen Faye, bro you the famous one okay you're the famous one i'm waiting on you i'm ready whenever you ready okay because you already there so whenever you want to invite me to a little event i'll be more than happy to pull up fave you already know you already know just call me get the limo ready tell them they had a photographer and everything ready i am ready for it okay <laughs> y'all don't know who i'm talking about but he know he know but you already mr big shot i'm trying to get like you because that's what i'm trying to do um so this next question says when are you going to drop some more content that's what i'm doing now so i am working on i'm still battling certain things um as far as like being back on here fully i'm still working on stuff and whatnot but like i said coming back to youtube we're getting content and everything together we're getting ideas going for the rest of the year so if you guys have any in um if you guys have any video ideas or anything that you guys want to see from me definitely leave it down below in the comment section because it'll help me out it'll get my thinking gears grinding <laughs> and get the thoughts and everything pushing out so definitely if you guys have something some type of video that you guys want me to do definitely leave that down below but i'm working on the content for hair and for instagram so just it's coming it's all coming it's coming and then this one says how long have you and your boyfriend been together so me and my boyfriend have been together it'll be two years in november um but we've known each other since 2015 that's when we met 2014 2015 we met at a time we met in like 2014 2015 that's how we known each other and we've always kind of like kept in contact or whatever but within in like 2019 is where we really like reconnected reconnected again but yeah so it'll be two years in november can't wait Yeah, I see I still left the tag on there and everything. Alright, so this one says your experience working at Kids Foot Locker. Girl, well you already know. <laughs> you already know I love I love working at Foot Locker is probably one of the best jobs that not one of the it was the best job that I ever had. I love the environment. I love like the connections and like the people and that the people and everything. It was fun going to work. Um it's just you know certain things far as money you know wasn't all the way there but Foot Locker was definitely one of the best jobs that I've had I worked at Foot Locker and then once I left school I became a manager at Kids Foot Locker and being a manager it was really it was really fun it was different for me and everything and just like the connections went out that I had with the employees even though they some of them were either my peers or like probably a, few, a little bit younger than me it was, so it was kind of odd to be like oh yeah I'm your manager but it was never it was always i feel like the relationship between me and it was always genuine it was pure i clicked with them and i learned that you know afterwards that a lot of them you know um i'm not going to say that but being a manager at kids she asked about kids for locker so at kids for locker i was a manager but i liked the experience i really loved it mainly because of you guys like you the person who asked me this you and like the other people you know our little crew y'all made that time there for me enjoy enjoyable y'all didn't give me a hard time as far as being a manager i didn't have to feel like i had to you know 
force my um authority down on you guys it was very much like a brother sister 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 type of relationship with all the employees so i definitely loved it at kids foot locker and foot locker but again money wasn't really all the way there you know we trying to go places and sometimes you just gotta you know step away from i love and i miss you and i hope you're doing well you know to you who asked me the question i miss you girl okay so this one says your favorite part of doing makeup <sighs> I don't know if I have a favorite part of doing makeup. I used to say my eyebrows, but eyebrows are so freaking complicated. It is everything about makeup is complicated. It's the, so much learning, so much practice, so much effort and time. So I don't know if I have a favorite part. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um. Cause eyebrows, them joints will stress you out when you're doing them. But you know, when it's done and the look come together, it's like, yes, girl, I did that. But I'm not sure. Hmm, what's your favorite part of doing your makeup? Cause I'm honestly not sure. Cause everything about it frustrates the heck out of me. And I'm just like, why am I still doing this? But you know, when you get results like this, it's like, how can you not like it? I don't know. This one is your favorite YouTuber. Girl, I got a few of them. I have a few of them. Um, like I said, Sophieology was one of the very first YouTubers that I ever fell in love with. So Sophieology most definitely, naturally Sunny has been my obsession. She has been that girl for me lately. She has been that one. I've been loving Naturally Sunny, but so I feel like Naturally Sunny is like, she top two and she ain't number two, pretty much. But yeah, so Sophieology, well, Sophieology, this is not, I'm not going to say this in no particular like, hierarchy or whatever, but Sophieology was just the first person, you know, that I came across that I loved. But definitely her, Naturally Sunny, my girl Jalen at Face Over Matter. I love her, especially because she's a Christian as well, and I just love, you know, I just fell in love with how she brings, you know, her relationship with God through the camera. And I'm hoping to get, you know, like that one day. Not to be like her. Everybody's different when it comes to their relationship. People would be, be Christians. Or there's a lot of other Christian YouTubers who believe in God and all that other stuff. And they're not, her, their vocal point of YouTube may not be God. But when it's time to address God, you know that God is in them. It's one of them situations. But I just love, I love Jalen. She has just like a mature older like soul vibe to her you know but i don't Jalen is my favorite for you know the spiritual reasons i just love her no who cannot love auntie jackie like auntie jackie most definitely and i would say kayla cakes i'm not gonna go ahead and list all of them because i love all the youtubers that i watch but kayla cakes yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you okay i'm gonna tell y'all a story a quick little story time so i'm going out of town next week and where I'm going <laughs> is one of my, you know, one of the YouTubers that I watch, um, you know, that's where she lives. And we've spoken, you know, I feel like she's my homegirl because she is. Like, we, me and her are, like, best friends in my head, low-key, but, like, I just love her vibe and everything. And we've talked and we've exchanged words and, like, said stuff and have conversation about things, like, through Instagram. And I just really felt like, you know, she's very personable and I felt like, you know, I could go to her about certain things or whatever. And I wanted to meet her. And it encouraged me because I saw I, I saw another video of something how you know I used to reach out to her and they met and they became friends and stuff like that. But I don't know. So I wanted to reach out to her. I shouldn't have wanted. I did reach out to her, and I, I don't want to say I felt so embarrassed, but I was so nervous about sending a message. Like my sister was in a room with me, like helping me say what I'm gonna say. And when I sent the message to her, and as soon as I sent it, that joint went from delivered to seen. My heart dropped my heart dropped i threw the phone like i had butter like i was nervous like i you, you would have thought that i was talking about like a seventh grade crush or something like it was it was just so crazy but yeah well, fortunately we're not going to meet up because of covid but just that whole entire like situation was just like super funny but yeah so those are just a few of my favorites not all because i can't list them all maybe on instagram one day i'll post a picture i'm not gonna go through all of the questions i'm trying to see what is something um okay this one says what are your goals for your channel in the next year definitely to grow i don't want to keep beating myself up but i know if i would have stayed more consistent doing the doing this year that i'd be a lot further off than i was but you know everything happened for a reason so it's definitely to grow um to learn new things um because you know even though i'm Face, even though I'm with a camera, there are so much things to learn as far as being on this platform and stuff, especially when it comes to editing and things like that, and just like you know, the analytics and everything. So, definitely to learn to grow and to even get you know, um, 
a bigger a stronger a better you know following um because i'm still growing so as i continue to grow you know my following my little community that we're going to have here is going to grow um and i know when it comes to youtube you really can't be all about the money because it may take a while for that to ever to happen but i truly believe deep down in my heart and that is my have faith like you know that this is going to be my job one day and it's a job now but a job as far as money so you know just working towards to seeing that money rolling in pretty much but i'm excited i'm working on like a few new new ideas and things that i could bring to my channel um this is why when we ask not even just me when we when youtubers be like you know let me know what it is that you want to see for me and this that and that when you ask you guys questions it's really important to us that we get those answers because it definitely helps us especially if you're the one watching us i don't want just be putting out content just to put on content if y'all not gonna like it if y'all not gonna enjoy it so stuff like that just to like grow and everything does that make sense i hope it did because we're moving on um <laughs> but this one says where do you pull your creativity from everywhere everywhere um i live in my mind i live in my thoughts and it could be a good thing and a bad thing so i'm always constantly thinking about other stuff you know i'm on youtube i'm on instagram i'm paying attention to like other trends and seeing what's going on um when it comes to like certain things i look at the time of year or whatnot that it is or you know what's going on that's happening if that makes sense like right now we're pushing into fall we're getting to like thanksgiving and christmas so you know some videos are going to be geared towards like the seasons or whatever that we're in so i really pull my creative my creativity from any from everywhere from my friends my family when i ask them you know when they give me ideas and stuff like that and i kind of just like sit down i have a book that I have a whole bunch of youtube ideas a whole bunch of like notes and everything that i have and what i want to do so I definitely pull my creativity from anywhere if i see something that i like and i'm just like oh can i do that how can i do that like how can i pull that over here that's pretty much what happens and that's another thing i guess that's another goal that i, I want to have for this next year is to having the creativity pull through even more because at this moment i'm doing things to get me grow i'm doing things to get me noticed in a way but you know now it's time to i've been on here for a year now it's time to put i guess Deja has always been in the midst of the video, but now it's time to put Deja on top of the, you know, other videos and stuff. You know, the little, little nice little salt bay on top of the things that I've been doing, you know, to have my creativity and whatnot pulled through. You got me? Um, oh, <laughs> this, this girl said, you still want those triplets? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Well, everybody asks me how many kids I want. I always say I want triplets. I want three kids. I want triplets so I can have them all at the same time. So I can just, you know, I ain't got to worry about leaving work and all that other stuff multiple times. Just so I ain't got to worry about a lot of things. I know I'm going to have a support system. I'm going to have people around. I've always wanted triplets. But now I'm thinking maybe twins. Twins won't be that bad. Like a single child and then a twin. That won't be that bad. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of teetering the fence with that question. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my cousin said, where is the sneaker haul? at Foot Locker <laughs> it's at Foot Locker because I don't have as many sneakers as I had before honestly like this past year with COVID I've been getting rid of stuff and I've been selling things to like Play-Doh Closet and stuff like I'm just I don't have that many sneakers I definitely need some more though um you know I have some I have a, a nice little option I guess or selection but I definitely need some more because it's like once you buy something you know you wear it a few times and it's not gonna it's not considered new it's not considered eye-catching anymore it's kind of just like you need something else to bring your excitement back for that thing so I haven't had I don't have a pair of sneakers again at this moment like i have sneakers that excites me that's why i bought them but now i'm waiting for another shoe to like pop up I'm like oh i need you and a, a good thing i guess is that since i don't work at foot like anymore is that i'm not like surrounded by the shoes so every time something comes in i'm not like the first to know about it because i'm not there anymore so it's like if i want to figure out what's going on i have to go and search for whatever it is but I don't know. I maybe I could show y'all a little bit of it, maybe in a vlog one day. But I definitely want to get some more because I feel like it's not inspiring. Like it's not giving me what it needs to give anymore. I definitely need some more. It's definitely outdated. But um, this one says, "Do you plan on making any more hauls?" Yes, I definitely do. And the hauls that I put on my channel, I didn't expect for them to do as good as it did. Like we got some views on those, so I definitely plan on doing more of um those. I will say one thing that's kind of been holding me back in a way is I've gained weight since COVID happened and that has 
took a toll on me in a way but you know we i got a gym membership we about to work on it so definitely you know we want to get the body right getting back to the one mid 160s <laughs> and not where i am now and we definitely gonna get a lot more but i would definitely will continue to do hauls like as the seasons change like hauls will cause ain't going nowhere on my channel so you can definitely look forward to seeing more of those um what's the best place you've ever been to um because like i travel but i don't travel but i travel like i travel with the U the united states i've never been out the country hopefully next year you know we're me and my boyfriend and me and my cousin like we're making some plans so hopefully next year i would definitely have my passport stamped um but i guess i could think of at the moment um a few years ago we went to tampa and it's this um attraction i don't know if i would call it attraction but it's this place called the holy land and it's pretty much like a little i don't know really how to describe it because it's not an amusement park but it's not a museum but the holy land is pretty much like set up as like jerusalem and just like certain places of the bible and it really gives you that like feel of like you being in like the time where jesus was there it was so pretty it was so beautiful like it that was probably one of the most like amazing experience i've ever had like it was it was definitely gorgeous so the holy land so if you're ever in orlando because we was in tampa but we have to drive so i'm pretty sure it's in orlando check out the holy land you're you you will enjoy it oh this is a, this is a question mom and dad i'm sorry but it says if you could change one thing about how you were raised what would that be now i talk about this a lot to my siblings and my cousins because they understand um, but if it's one thing that I would change the way I've been raised is I come from a um, Christian family. We believe in God. So, you know, we weren't allowed to do certain things or whatever. My, my parents were definitely, I'm going to say, were protective. They were covering us. Um, but I personally feel like we didn't have much of a life life, really. Um, we went to home. We had homeschool church. That was about it. If we went... I went out of town, but it was more out of town for like traveling for like church conventions. Like church was our life. That's pretty much what it was. PK kid, love God all the way. Um, so if it's one thing that I would really change, um, I don't know exactly how to put it into words because parents are parents, and I definitely understand because I feel that way, and you know about certain things as well when it comes to having kids. You know, being like you want, you don't know what your if you get your if your kids are out of your sight, unless it's a place where you know the like they're going to be, you know the the parents or whatever, and the environment and what different people believe in. You really can control what your kid is going to be around and what they're going to be exposed to. Um, but I will say, I personally feel like because of that i bl i don't want to say i blame them but the lack of having um friends one and you know being um this is my truth but i don't want to i don't want them to say anything um the lack of having friends and the like i feel like i'm not you know um being able to you know be a kid and you know do things and have just like a little bit of life and be able to have fun but the way that i was raised kind of affected you know having friends you know making new friends being sociable and stuff like that but because we couldn't really do certain things and we couldn't, couldn't do anything um it was really just being we were really just subject to you know our siblings and then our cousins which is not a bad thing you know family over everything most definitely but you know now now since you know we're adults we're growing we're you know on different parts we're in different cities like st stuff is happening we're, ha we're we have lives we have responsibilities and stuff is that we're not always together so because i feel like we couldn't do certain things so it kind of affected our friendships at schools it, it kind of had always had me th think it in a way okay you know it's school time you know i like this person we cool or whatever but this is just going to be a school thing like i'm only going to see you i'm only going to talk to you at school because i know when, when school is over when we go on vacations or we'll be done at three o'clock or whatever like i'm not we're not going to be talking we're not going to hang out like stuff like that so that kind of like trickle over to work you know people at work just being work friends and not really i will say foot locker i would i i went out a little bit more with some of the people the way that i was raised kind of had a toll and affected you know my ability to make connections and have friends and stuff like that and i realized that in my age now 
that it has in a way affected me i remember one time you know having a whole conversation with um with someone and i kind of like broke down about it because i'm just like you know i have my sisters i have my cousins and stuff which is cool but you know what do i do when they not there like when, when we just so codependent upon you know each other oh we're going tomorrow you want to go tomorrow we must go to dairy late you want to go do this that, like always having each other and the fact that now we're growing and where we have different things going on and when it's just me you know there's nothing wrong with it just being you but the fact that i didn't have i don't have anybody else to go and turn to in terms of you know stuff like that i always have my siblings well it kind of i hope i'm making sense but it kind of just affected me in a way um and it really it, it made me sad when i was talking to that person about it to a point where i was like damn in, in tears because, because i'm just like i don't have any friends like I, I don't have friends i have my family which is not a bad thing but as far as like friends and it was always a struggle for me to make friends because of certain things that went on because i know i couldn't do certain things i know you know like i said when we go home this is about it <laughs> i ain't talking to you this is what it is I, i'll see you next year um pretty much so that's probably one thing that i would change as far as being raised is just you know being able to go out and do a little bit more and be sociable because you know i don't have a childhood friend i don't have a high school friend i don't have a college friend that you know is going to be my kids godparents or is going to be my maid of honor at my wedding and stuff like that so that's one thing i would change um this one says what is the most important goal in life that you want to accomplish making it to heaven period even though that's afterlife making it to heaven that's what it is um this question says when are we going to get a full deja and caleb video do, do i really want y'all to meet my boyfriend i think i want to just keep him to myself i don't know i don't know no <laughs> i'm playing like during the time when i haven't been posting i was always like picking up my camera and trying to vlog so i actually have a whole bunch of clips of us i went to atlanta you know i have clips of me going down there to go visit him we're long distance if you guys didn't know you know i have clips of us and i was thinking actually thinking about doing uh taking all of the not even just with him but just all of the pieces blog pieces that i got during the four months span that i wasn't on youtube and just like putting it into one big blog and just doing like a while i was away type of situation you know you so you could guys on could catch up on some of the stuff that's been happening so i don't have to verbally tell you you could you guys could just see it in the vlog but you know i will definitely show you guys the boo the, the babe i ain't got my my necklace on but mr mcknight we actually did a video together we did a video together when i was first planning um to do youtube we did a video together and i absolutely hated it i do, i didn't like the angle i didn't it was just like i i hated it so that went to the garbage but i'll let y'all meet him when it's time you know but if you ask him put him ask him i don't know um this question says how old were you when you got saved now okay so like i just said i'm a pk born and raised in the church all of that so this question i don't want to say it's hard to answer because you know it's like every sunday you know growing up it's an altar call you going up to the altar every single sunday and being like oh i want to get saved and stuff like that um as a kid but i will say the time when i was just like all right i'm going to make it and uh, i'm going to make an effort to really you know pursue this and you know get closer to god and make a relationship and stuff like that i don't remember my age but i pretty sure i'm pretty sure i was going into my senior year of high school i'm pretty sure that's 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 when it happened i don't remember how old i was maybe 16 or 17 um you know i don't say i don't keep track of it should i be keeping track of that because there's people who can testify and be like oh i've been saved for 25 years and stuff like that um so i don't know what is that five years five not even because four like five six years i guess i don't know i just remember you know making a conscious saying okay i'm gonna make a conscious effort my going into my senior year of high school i remember being in my room exactly and my dad praying for me you know and getting the holy ghost and stuff like that um so yeah so i say about five to six years which you know i ain't perfect i'm human i mess up you struggle and stuff like that you know I don't want you to get no ideas thinking that I'm holier than thou. But yeah. I'm not I don't want to portray on here that I'm perfect, but I will portray, you know, that I, I'm a I'm a person who needs God, who needs Jesus. And you know, one thing about being a Christian, we're not higher than anybody. It doesn't we're not superior. You know, we just know when we mess up, we know who we could go to and who we could turn to, you know, when times get hard and stuff like that. Who is your go to makeup brand? 
my go-to makeup brand I want to say I absolutely I I love Fenty as far as complexion and stuff, but I'm kind of, you know, getting into NARS um and like excuse me, trying other trying other um brands and stuff like that. Like I just picked up some Rare Beauty um the other day. So, I don't know if I have a favorite or my go-to because I have when it comes to my makeup routine, I have used a whole bunch of different products, but Fenty is one of my favorites when it comes to complexion, but NARS is starting to Nars is starting to be that girl, you know. I love Riri, but Nars is starting to be it. What is your favorite restaurant? Cheesecake Factory. Period pool. Period pool. Period pool. Period pool. How do you stay on track with your spiritual journey? How do you have fun? Um, so I read my Bible. I pray. I worship. I have devotionals. Um, I go to church. Um, so that's one of the ways that I watch sermons. I don't really watch a lot of TV and stuff. I mainly watch YouTube and that's YouTube as far as like YouTubers and sermons. Um, I play, I listen to sermons when I go to sleep. That's some of the ways that I keep up with it. You know, everybody's spiritual journey is going to be different. My spiritual journey is going to be different and it's not even honestly where it should be. I'm growing and whatnot still, but that is just some of the things that I do to keep on track of it. And it's not like, um, yeah, those are things that I do. I mean, I don't, got church. I don't go to church every day. But those other things, pray, worshiping, listening, you know, putting the music in, um, in me, watching sermons and stuff like that. That is stuff that I do on a daily basis. And those are things that I do to even start my day off. Um, so, yeah. And how do you have fun? Girl, I'm trying to have fun. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out myself. Uh, but by fun... If you want to have some fun, let me know. <laughs> um, but I hang out with my siblings. You know, we go to the mall, we do stuff. I chill with my cousins. I have this circle, quote unquote. It's me, two of my cousins, and there's one of our uh, male friends. You know, I hang out with them. Those are like my go-to people, them and my, my siblings. I'm still working on the fun aspect. You know, we getting out of my comfort zone because I ain't about to use that excuse no more. I wasn't allowed to do anything when I was younger, so that's why I can't, you know, I don't want to do anything. I'm getting out of that. So, you know, it's time to get to know myself. We're going out. We're doing things. We're experiencing things. We're trying new things. So, that's what's happening. And I'm excited because next week I'm going out of town. And um, for the reasons I'm going out of town, it's just like, oh, my God. I can't, believe I can't believe I'm doing this. So, yeah. This question said, okay, protective style tutorials. Qu protective styles, question mark, tutorials, question, tutorials, question marks. Where are the wig videos? I heard you on red. Yes, I did, girl. I did. More like burgundy. It's not as bright in the camera. I think... I don't think these lights are doing the justice. I need a ring light to put right in front of me. I just have lights on the side. But I did make a tutorial on how I colored this hair. It will be up after this video. Um, so I be on the lookout for this. If you guys like the color, I will be uploading a tutorial on that. And I do have a tutorial as well as how I even make wigs. So I'm going to be doing a, a lot of all that stuff on my channel. But this is why I say, you know, let me know what it is that you want to you wanna see. But definitely stay tuned to get the scoop on this color so this one isn't a question it just says i miss you girl love you i see you doing your thing i miss you too boo but yeah i'm going to wrap it up just because i want to just you know bore y'all with questions um and i'm getting a little tired honestly but yes i'm, I'm gonna take one glass not even of this drink but yeah um i'm really excited about this year it, i was even contemplating if i even wanted to celebrate it because i know i wasn't where I wanted to be but my boyfriend and my family convinced me you know to do it so that's what we did and I'm happy I'm excited to just go through this next year and just you know learn and like grow and get more established and you know just like brand myself and really get put myself out there and just you know do things different as far as content went on my channel so I'm definitely excited so cheers to this next year i can't wait to see what it is that i god has in store for me with this platform but yeah i hope i didn't bore you guys to death too much at least <laughs> but to all of my family my friends the people that has joined me on this journey all of my subscribers who are consistent with watching my videos and supporting me thank you so much guys for just you know being a part of this journey with me i hope that as i grow that we grow y'all gonna come along with me and that you know i'm just ready to see where we're gonna go i'm ready for this ride and you know exceeding and just like going further and and, you know, I'm excited to see and meet all of the other people that's going to come along with us. So, I'm really excited. Um, I definitely, I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to just, like, do stuff because the vision that I have and the goal that I have is just, like, 
in general not even just like the year but just overall is just so great that i know i can't you know let my vision and my dreams die without not doing anything at all um because i was sad that i wasn't posting for four to five months um so we it's time to get to it that's what we're doing but thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you learned something different i hope i answered your question because there were a few more but like i said i'm just like tired it is 10 o'clock at night right now and i work today what is that squeaking uh, fix your brakes but thank you for watching this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you want to join the family and be a part of the gang and i will see you guys on my next upload so peace i'm tired <sighs> Jesus, Lord. Still gotta edit this. Take a chance, you never know. But you don't know it's beautiful. Anything is possible. But you don't know it's beautiful.